When you hear the name NVIDIA, you probably think of cutting-edge graphics cards, gaming excellence, and powerful AI advancements. But behind this high-tech facade lies a series of controversies that paint a very different picture of the GPU giant. From hardware failures that could burn your house down to business practices that have raised eyebrows across the industry, NVIDIA's journey to the top hasn't been without its dark moments. So, what if the world's leading GPU manufacturer isn't as consumer-friendly as it seems? Stick around, and let's uncover the lesser-known side of NVIDIA that they probably don't want you to know about. The Power Connector Controversy, Cablegate. First up, let's talk about what's been dubbed Cablegate. It sounds almost funny until you realize it's about expensive tech catching fire. This controversy centers around NVIDIA's RTX 4090 graphics cards, which have been plagued by a serious defect in their 16-pin 12 VHPWR power connectors. Users started reporting that their high-end GPUs were overheating, and in some cases, even melting due to this faulty connector. Imagine spending over $1,000 on a piece of technology, only for it to become a fire hazard in your home. The scale of this issue is much larger than initially reported. As more RTX 4090 units rolled out, the number of overheating incidents grew. Online forums and social media exploded with posts from frustrated users sharing horror stories of their expensive graphics cards melting and, in some cases, causing damage to other PC components. The problem was severe enough to prompt NVIDIA to issue statements and conduct an internal investigation. However, many users felt the company was slow to react, leading to even more frustration. The situation escalated when a class action lawsuit was filed against NVIDIA, accusing the company of knowingly selling defective and hazardous products. The lawsuit claimed that the defective design of the power connectors posed not just a financial loss for consumers, but also a significant safety risk. This lawsuit has brought to light a critical issue in tech manufacturing. What happens when innovation outpaces safety protocols? NVIDIA eventually tried to mitigate the problem by introducing a new 12V2X6 power connector, which they claim is less prone to overheating. However, this fix didn't come without its own set of problems. Many consumers who had already purchased the faulty units felt left out in the cold, with little recourse for replacing their potentially dangerous hardware. This ongoing issue continues to be a sore spot for NVIDIA, as many wonder how a company at the forefront of technology could allow such a critical oversight. Allegations of anti-competitive practices. Next, we move on to NVIDIA's business practices, which have sparked considerable controversy in the tech world. At the center of this is the GeForce Partner Program, or GPP. On the surface, the GPP seemed like a straightforward initiative to align NVIDIA more closely with its partners, giving them early access to NVIDIA's latest technology and fostering collaboration on marketing efforts. However, the reality appears to be much more complicated and, some argue, much more sinister. The GeForce Partner Program was marketed as a way to provide better services to gamers and ensure a high-quality experience. However, reports surfaced that the program had a hidden agenda to consolidate NVIDIA's hold on the market by forcing partners to exclusively promote NVIDIA products under their gaming brands. This meant that if a manufacturer wanted to be part of the GPP and enjoy the associated benefits, they had to drop or de-emphasize any competing products from companies like AMD. Imagine a world where your choice of graphics cards is silently dictated by behind-the-scenes agreements rather than your own preferences. This strategy raised red flags among competitors and industry analysts alike. Critics argued that the GPP was less about improving consumer experience and more about boxing out competitors and solidifying NVIDIA's dominant position in the market. Some manufacturers reportedly expressed concerns that the program's terms were likely illegal and could damage relationships with NVIDIA's competitors. The potential for reduced consumer choice and innovation stifling was evident. The backlash was swift and loud, leading to NVIDIA quietly discontinuing the GPP. But the damage was done. The controversy had already highlighted NVIDIA's aggressive tactics to maintain market dominance. Even after the program was shut down, the tech community continued to debate its implications, with many viewing it as a clear example of NVIDIA's willingness to push ethical boundaries to maintain its lead. Antitrust investigations and market dominance. The story doesn't end there. 
NVIDIA's aggressive tactics have caught the eye of regulators in Europe. Both the European Union and French authorities have launched investigations into NVIDIA's market practices, particularly focusing on its dominance in the GPU market and its conduct during the global chip shortage. This isn't just a slap on the wrist. These investigations could have significant implications for NVIDIA's future in the global market. Why are these investigations happening? Well, NVIDIA's rapid expansion into the AI chip market has been driven by its substantial investments in technologies like CUDA, which has set it far ahead of its competitors. This dominance isn't just about market share. It's about the power to influence and control the direction of the entire industry. The EU and French authorities are examining whether NVIDIA has used this power to engage in monopolistic practices, potentially manipulating prices and limiting competition. If found guilty of antitrust violations, NVIDIA could face significant penalties, including hefty fines and potentially being forced to change its business practices. Such penalties could fundamentally alter how NVIDIA operates, not just in Europe, but globally. This would not only affect NVIDIA's bottom line, but could also reshape the competitive landscape of the tech industry, providing more room for competitors to challenge NVIDIA's market share. For consumers, this could mean more choice and potentially better pricing in the future. The investigations also highlight a growing concern about the concentration of power in the tech industry. As companies like NVIDIA grow larger and more influential, there are increasing calls for regulatory oversight to ensure that these companies do not abuse their positions to the detriment of consumers and competitors alike. NVIDIA's case could set a precedent for how tech giants are regulated in the future, making this a story worth watching closely. Legal Challenges and Data Privacy Issues Beyond market dominance and competitive practices, NVIDIA has also faced legal challenges related to data privacy and security. One notable incident involved the accidental display of sensitive data during a video call. This mishap led to a lawsuit against NVIDIA, highlighting concerns about how the company handles sensitive information and the potential risks involved. But this isn't just a one-off incident. Data privacy issues have been a recurring theme for NVIDIA, as they have for many tech giants. In an era where data is more valuable than ever, companies are under increasing scrutiny to protect consumer information. For NVIDIA, a company that deals with massive amounts of data daily, any lapse in data security is a major red flag. The legal challenges NVIDIA has faced underscore a broader issue in the tech industry, the need for robust data privacy protocols and the consequences of failing to implement them. These incidents have raised serious questions about NVIDIA's internal controls and data security practices. For a tech giant like NVIDIA, known for its technological prowess, such lapses can be particularly damaging. It suggests that even companies at the forefront of innovation can fall short when it comes to protecting consumer data. In response, NVIDIA has had to step up its efforts to improve data security and regain consumer trust. However, as we've seen time and time again, rebuilding trust after a breach is no easy task. So, what does all of this mean for NVIDIA and its future? The company's rise to the top of the GPU and AI markets has been marked by impressive technological advancements and strategic business moves. However, these controversies reveal a darker side of NVIDIA that's less often discussed. From hardware failures and lawsuits to allegations of anti-competitive practices and data privacy issues, NVIDIA has faced numerous challenges that call into question its business ethics and consumer responsibility. For consumers, these stories are a reminder to look beyond the glossy marketing and consider the full picture of the companies they support. It's easy to be dazzled by cutting-edge technology and innovative products, but it's also important to hold companies accountable for their actions. And for NVIDIA, these controversies serve as a wake-up call to address these issues head-on, improve transparency, and rebuild trust with its audience. The tech world is always evolving, and only time will tell how NVIDIA navigates these world. Only time will tell how NVIDIA navigates these challenges moving forward. Will they make the necessary changes to become a more responsible market leader, or will these controversies continue to haunt them? One thing is for sure, as consumers and tech enthusiasts, we must stay informed and demand accountability from the companies that shape our digital lives. What do you think about NVIDIA's journey so far? Do these controversies change how you view the tech giant? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. 
For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.